So you guys coming through again with another video too. You're done, Noah. So I wanted to do my 200,000 mile update on my F10 535i. And what better place to do it than at BMW. Um, this is the BMW in Fort Lauderdale. Um, oh, oh man, the words can't describe how happy I am of this uh, 535. Um, this car has been nothing but reliable to me. It's amazing that it's at 200,000 miles right now. And as you guys can see, it's in phenomenal condition. Um, I bought this car a year and a half ago. So August 2020 is when I bought this car. And I mean, like I said, words can't describe how happy I was when I was able to find one and then find one with the options that I have as well too, you know? Um, I bought this car from Mannheim Auction. It's a dealer only auction, um, specifically targeted towards dealers and dealer agents. Um, I saw this at auction. It was at a Oklahoma. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Um, I saw this at the Oklahoma auction and everything online, and I couldn't help but press the buy now price on it. Uh, the car just looked way too clean and had all the options and bells and whistles that I wanted. Um, like with the previous videos I posted on my YouTube, the car came really equipped. I mean, just the 360 camera alone should even tell you a little or give you a little hint that this car was really well optioned out. I never went over how much I actually paid for the car on my YouTube. So <laughs> this is going to be the video I'm going to go over how much I paid for the car. So you guys, I paid $5,500 for this awesome machinery right here. Um, and I have no regrets. I paid $5,500. It cost me $625 to ship it all the way from Oklahoma. So with taxes and fees of this car, I was like around $6,400 into it all in. Now the car did not come perfect. <laughs> it was a one owner car, but it did not come perfect. Um, the car did have a check engine light on. The headlights were not working. But honestly, when you buy a car from auction, you gotta understand that things are just not gonna be perfect and you got to fix certain things here and there. Luckily, the check engine light that I had gotten or what it had was a misfire on cylinder four. Um, it was a very simple fix. I literally just switched out the coil pack and it was a dream come true, you know? Since I changed that one coil pack, nothing else has ever happened to the car. <laughs> you know, they normally tell you to change all your coil packs when one of them goes out, but I just was like, you know, let me just change one. If another one ends up uh, going dead on me, I'll just change the others, but it never happened. So, but I got this car at 178,000 miles. Right now, I am currently live. Okay. It's at 199,989 miles. Being in this car, you just feel so safe and secluded so much room and you can bring people in here it's not gonna be cramped uh, like I said this car came pretty well equipped um, you can you have the warnings here this is to uh, help you change lanes this is to uh, help you in to preventing a crash and this is for lane departure, so it'll literally vibrate the steering wheel if it senses that you're going off of the, the lanes. Um, I do have heated and cooled seats. As you see, I use the cooled seats so much <laughs> to the point that you can't even see the seat no more, <laughs> literally. I don't really have too many people who come in the car like that. Um, it's just pretty much, this car has pretty much been the car that I use to just daily, you know? The headliner is not sagging. Let me turn on the light here if you guys can see. Um, it is the Alkenstite. Al Alkenstite? 
however you say that. Um, headliner. Um, no sagging. No nothing, to be honest, on this car. The sunroof works. <laughs> Something that likes to go in on these cars. So... But, you know what I mean? This is what happens when you have a very well-maintained car. You know, you're not going to have any issues. Even though I have all these miles, it doesn't take away the fact that the car is clean. I feel like when it comes to BMW ownership, it comes down to the owner itself. You know? Okay. Um, depending on who owns the car, the car will be maintained properly. But obviously if you have somebody that's irresponsible or somebody who doesn't take care of the car, um, every week I get the car cleaned, you know? Um, I don't really make the car get too dirty or anything like that. Uh, one of the coolest things about my uh, car, in my opinion, what made me really get this car was the fact that it's a 535i trim with rear entertainment. The rear entertainment is by far the coolest thing about this car. Like I said, it's a 535i trim with rear entertainment. You don't really find that a lot, <laughs> if anything at all. Um, very cool thing to have. I can't say I use it a lot, <laughs> but, oh, by the way, you guys, this thing has soft closed doors. Um, like I said, this is a very well optioned out car. The soft closed doors is just on next level, yo. Try that again. So cool to have, yo. Um, you got your sunshades. It's just a cool car, man. I was very, 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 you know, shook that this car gave me so many options. Um, I do have the window sticker here so that everybody can see. Um, it started off at 50,000. <laughs> but as you can see, the options went a little overboard. You have your active vent seat package, 1,900. You got your convenience package, 1,700. Driver assistance package, 1750. M Sport package, $6,500. Rotted. Mind you, the package is 6500 I literally bought the car for a package <laughs> on here. That's crazy. Got your premium package, premium package 2, 1800 4500 The way how BMW <laughs> charges for these options. Hey, man, it is what it is, you know? Uh, what else is it? 2400 for active cruise control. That is crazy. 2200 for the rear entertainment. And it stopped, it clocked out at 75,075. Literally. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, um, I have no complaints on this car. Uh, it's been nothing but reliable to me. Let me show you guys the underneath the bonnet. <laughs> so. This is the N55 uh, inline six. As you can see, there's no modifications, which is why I am at the miles I am at. I always tell people, if you're trying to get reliability, don't mod this engine. It's not made to take too much power like the N54. Just drive it normally and you'll get a lot of reliability out of it. And yeah, it is what it is, you know? So, I've always told people, the only way I see myself not having this car is unless I get an F80 M3 or a newer 5 Series, to be honest. Um, but, I, like I said, I see myself keeping this car for quite some time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you guys have a blessed and positive deal.